I swear, if anyone breaks my parents' vase, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, I hid it in one of the lock rooms, but you know, Steph's going to pick the lock. Oh, wow, there's a game of spin the bottle going on already. Do you want in? Of course I'm going in. I want my birthday kisses from a random cutie. As the one throwing the party, and it also being my birthday, I would like to announce that I'm turning this game of spin the bottle into a front for seven minutes of heaven. There's a closet in pretty much every room of this house, so we might as well put them to use. Does that sound all right with everyone? Good. Very well. Now let's get this game underway. I'll be nice enough to let whoever started the game up to go first. All right, my turn. Let me see who the lucky person is that gets to kiss me tonight. It's my birthday, so they better make these seven minutes really worth it. Let's see, let's see. Who's the lucky person who gets to kiss me? Wait a minute. Do I know you? Hey, will you stop pushing me? I'm getting up already. You don't need to be shoved into my own closet. I got this, don't worry. Hold on, I... I do know you. Shit. What, what did I do to end up in here with you? I know, I know I spun the bottle, fucking dumbass. I mean, what did I do so bad that Karma ended up putting you and me together? No, it is that bad. You're the biggest nerd I know. And now I have to either kiss you or miss out on my turn of seven minutes in heaven. All right, all right, leave us. Now, look, why on earth are you even here? From my knowledge, you weren't even invited to my party. Yeah, my party, might I add. We hate each other. So out of all of the parties to crash, why mine? Don't bother answering. I'm not going to believe you, no matter what you say. For some reason, you're here now. And stuck in a closet with me. I'm not sure if this is more torture for me or for you, but either way, we're stuck here for seven minutes. Possibly more, considering they might be kind enough to offer me a few extra minutes. Which normally I'd be grateful for, but no, it just means I'm stuck here with you for longer. Did I mention it's you? Why? I hate you because you're a nerd, a loser, a loner, who keeps appearing in my way. At school, after school, at the park, and now at my own party. Jesus. I put out into the universe that I don't want to see one person. And boom. They're everywhere. You are so that bad. Look, we are not friends. Not even frenemies enemies even. In fact, when I see you, I audibly groan. Ugh, I feel so disgusted. I almost throw up. I actually want to throw myself into a brick wall, not even that I... What? Why, why do you look like that? No, you, you look sad. Why, why sad? Has it finally dawned on you that you, you ruined my birthday party by destroying one of my chances to kiss a random person? Oh, well, when I usually insult you, you just throw one back at me. I didn't think I actually hurt you when I say these things. You're more of a loser than I thought. Sorry, look, you're a nerd and all, but that's, that's not why I hate you. 
No, it isn't. If it makes you feel any better, I think you're pretty great. Too great, actually. Just part of the reason I hate you. You're too perfect. Like, untouchable, my misfortune. You get good grades. You're smart. Well, book smart, not street smart. I've seen you nearly get run over more times than I bear to count. Back to topic, since you just want to hear me sing your praises. The fact is, when I see you, I see this cute little perfect being who lives in a bubble of perfect and eats perfect little bowls of perfect cereal for breakfast. Okay. What I'm trying to say is that you made me jealous. That you live in this perfect world and you're always so nice. No matter how bad of a day you look like you're having or how many times I'm mean to you. I'm mean to you because you're perfect. And I want to be the one bad thing to make your world less perfect. You seriously only got from all of that that I called you cute. Oh, you're dumber than I originally thought. Shit. Shit. I think someone's coming in. Quick. Quick, kiss me. Yes, I'm serious. Kiss me. We need to make them go away. And if they find us talking, they'll kick us out. Shut up and kiss me, nerd. <laughs> Shh, shh, shh. Just, just, just one more a little longer to, to make sure I can't be too safe no no Nothing wrong, just you kiss pretty good for a nerd. Thanks. Wait, that better not be implying I'm also a nerd, because I will take back all those nice things about you. I'm I'm not no nerd, and you know it. I mean, I did mean them. Yeah. Yes, I'm I'm sure I did. I guess I'm failing to make your day worse now, huh? Come on, I know my kissing isn't that bad. I've had plenty of practice and a large majority of those who have experienced. Not what you meant. Gotcha. I'll... I'll shut up now. Come here. Let me think. I rate this closet experience a solid 7 out of 10. Got to kiss a cute nerd, but definitely needed more kissing. What do you mean we can fix... Mm. That. Gotcha. I think my extra birthday minutes are going to come in now. If anyone disrupts us again, we can just make other kinds of noises and we don't have to fake those if you like. Get on my lap. I want to do more than just kiss you now. Think of this as me making up for all the times I called you something I didn't mean. And there's a lot of them, so... We might be here for a while. Mm. 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 